Hey, what's up guys? Wolfcore here and welcome back to Dream Daddy, episode number eight. Oh, I'm really excited to jump back into this game. It's been too long and I apologize for that. For that. As you, some of you may know, I was having some issues with my PC, but we are back up and running. So let's get back to our Dream Daddy playthrough and uh, go on a date with a, with a dad. And I think I have a particular dad in mind today. You've got dads. You've got dads. All right, so we have gone on a date with Matt. Had a great time. Gone on a sort of a bro date with Craig. Had a great time. But there's one other guy that I like, and that is Brian. Uh, Robert, he's uh, he's uh, not a little creepy, not for me. He's he's a lot creepy, definitely not for me. And uh, he, he's a little up his own ass, and uh, his son is a douchebag. So I'm kind of focusing on these three chaps right here. I'm a fan of them all, so let's start... Uh, Hitting up Brian and see how that goes. Man, I don't know how I feel about hanging out with Brian more, but it seems like Daisy and Amanda get along really well. Maybe I should just bite the bullet and hang out with Brian more for the sake of the kids. I crack my knuckles and start typing. Hey Brian, great grabbing burgers with you at the cookout yesterday. We should get the kids together and hang out soon. I wait a couple minutes until a ding comes from my computer and a message pops up on screen. It says, Brian, let's see what he has to say. Hey, hey, man. Always love a good burger with a buddy. We should definitely hang out. What do you think about mini golf? We could bring the girls out and have ourselves a little friendly competition. Rock on, Brian. He signed his name. That's cute. Friendly competition. This is perfect. I know Amanda and I will crush Brian in mini golf. I've been taking her to mini golf courses since she was a little kid, and I'm proud to say that she's almost better at it than I am. Dot dot dot. Almost. I type back. That sounds great, man. Name the time and place, and we'll be there. Hey, Amanda. Ah. Hey, would you be up for some mini golf with Brian and Daisy? Ah. I'm a little out of practice, and I know my backswing leaves something to be desired, but I think I could keep it in the negatives. Perfect. Come on, kiddo. Let's do this. This. Yeah! Arr, matey. I'm as ready as I'll ever be. Why are you talking mm. like that? Because this mini golf course is pirate themed? I just now realized that we are indeed standing on the top of a giant pirate ship in the middle of a putt putt course. That sounds amazing. I need pirate themed mini golf in my life. Yeah! Oh? Come on, pirate dad. Watcha talk like a pirate with me, Our Ahoy, um, scurvy? Avasti. Avasti! I'll make Brian and Daisy walk the plank with my superior golfing abilities. I got a little Irish at the end. I mean, uh, double? Hmm. Come on, Dad, you told me this was just gonna be some friendly competition. Friendly competition is dad code for actual competition. I need to prepare my body, mind, and soul to defeat Brian on the field of glorious battle. Hmm. It's just mini golf just mini golf it's so much more than that i kneel down and place a hand on amanda's shoulder i just want you to know that there's no pressure it's not a big deal don't worry about it too much but we have to beat brian at mini golf whatever happened to just having fun oh we will have fun when we beat him <laughs> amanda gives me a side eye but before i can side i her back i spot brian and daisy ahoy there oh. mateys ahoy Brian walks up with Daisy in tow. It looks like they already rented us some golf clubs for our mini golf excursion. Total power move. Why didn't I think All of that? Right. All right, first mate. I hear there's buried treasure in these waters. You gotta help me plunder it. Oh, Amanda, I don't think this is a real pirate ship. I think it's just to play putt putt on. Dad. Amanda gives Daisy a look. I mean, aye aye, Captain. <laughs> Daisy winks at Amanda. Ah, uh. uh, look at those two. They're two peas in a pod. So you excited to get some mini golf in? Oh, you know it. Da, da, da. Mm -hmm. You a gambling man? Oh, 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 oh. Uh, am I? Hold them. I know when to fold them. Uh. I know when to uh, shoot. That's pretty much all I know how to do. Uh. How about the loser buys drinks tonight? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sounds like a deal, big guy. All right. But how about we make it a bit more interesting? I'm listening. The loser has to mow the winner's lawn this weekend. <laughs> well, my yard's pretty big. Are you prepared to take that on? I think you should be a little bit more concerned with how you're going to maneuver around my hedges. It's highly technical work, not for the faint. Of heart. <laughs> I don't 
think I'll need to worry about that. I'm very good at mini golf, you know. Oh yeah? Hole in one. Every time. What I just said is not a true thing, but it already came out of my mouth, so I have to stand by it. I hate it when that happens. I'm looking forward to seeing that happen. Brian and I, Brian and I eye each other up and down. May the best dad win. Brian and I shake hands and lock eyes. It's about to go down. Armity. Armity to you as well, pirate guy. Oh, 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 I might be good at this. Okay, I see what we're doing here. Womp. Okay, okay. Two for two, two for two. Right there. Womp. Oh no, I'm bad. Keep going, keep Game going. Signal pass. That's why you gotta hit it as hard as you can. Um. Oh no! You lost oh, no. your ball. Brian's gonna know I was lying. Uh. Into the yes. Run. All right, all right, all right. Three for two. Three for two. We got this. We got this. Womp. Oh. <laughs> Okay, okay. Alright, I think we're breaking even or something like that. Yes. Okay, okay. Oh, that was so fast and close. You lost your ball. S. Really? Hey. And we got an achievement. Cool. Amanda pulls me aside while Brian and Daisy start walking to the mm. next hole. Hey, you having a good time? I'm having a great time. I'm having a fantastic time destroying Brian underfoot. Hmm. I just ask because your eye is twitching. <laughs> no, it's not. I feel my left eye twitch. Amanda raises her eyebrows. We're out here to have fun, remember? It's just a game. You're right. It's just a game. A game with extremely high stakes. A game we're currently winning. Hmm. Dad. Yeah. Please, Amanda, please nail this next hole for me. We need to keep the streak oh. going. If it's really that important to you, sure. Amanda walks over and tees up for a particularly hard windmill hole. Gripping her club, she winds up and launches the ball into the parking lot. She looks me right in the eye and does an exaggerated shrug. Little tyke. Huh? Oops. I disagree with her actions, but I appreciate her act of youthful defiance. She walks over and pats me on the back. That was for your own good. Love you, kiddo. Armatey! Armatey to you as well. Alright, round two. Fight! Ooh! Keep going! You've lost your ball. You've lost your ball. Yo ho ho, and a hole full of ball. Uh, this one's tricky. Into the yeah. Can I just shoot it straight into the hole? Oh, shouldn't have tried. You've lost shouldn't have tried. Ball. Shouldn't have tried. Alright, I got fancy there. It was a mistake. Ooh. Beer. Dead men sink no pots. This is hard. This is harder than it looks. Don't judge me. Into the hey. Womp. Ooh. Well, you I mean, we got a few. Ball. Oh, Lord. Oh, man. How do you... Uh. Uh. Oh. You've lost <sighs> your ball. Oh, shit. Okay. All right. I know this old game. Oh, Haha, <laughs> S tier! Impressive putting. Count it! Ah. I try to maintain an air of professionalism because there are children present, but confetti cannons are going off in my brain and someone is placing a wreath around inner me with the words best dad emblazoned on it. I feel like I didn't actually do that well, but... Who am I to complain? Beggars can't be choosers. Man, that was some good shooting there, Wolf. Well, thank you. Thank you. I have bested you in the field of battle, Brian. You? Oh, 
you don't read the user. <laughs> and it felt good, Brian. It felt really okay. good. <laughs> Brian and I eyeball each other. Electricity shooting between us. Oh. <laughs> Arr, Daisy, did you have a good time? Yo ho ho, I did. <laughs> we haven't even found the buried treasure yet. I think we would need to apply for a permit to dig huh. around here. I can take Daisy home so we can get the city paperwork started for digging. You two go enjoy your night. Hey. Sounds like a plan. Wolf, you cool with that? Sure. Just don't get yourselves into too much trouble. Can do. I'll make sure we get into a perfectly reasonable amount of trouble. That's my girl. Amanda and Daisy skip away, yelling about buried treasure. Bless that kid's tiny rebellious ah. heart. Well, guess we should hit the bar. Ah. There's actually a tiki bar attached to this place. How about that? That sounds like a plan. Brian and I walk into Freaky Tiki, a... Uh, mm. Kitchy. Kitchy? Kitchy. 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 Okay. A kitschy island-themed bar. Palm trees adorn the walls and several fake parrots are strewn about. Ukulele music plays softly in the background. Brian and I approach the bamboo bar. Guess I'm spending more time with Brian, which is a little more bearable since I won. Okay, I just gotta get my victory drink and get out of here. I think I already proved my superior dadness for the day. Ah. Two pineapples of hospitality, please. The bartender whips us up two rum drinks inside of hollowed out pineapples. He sets them on fire, and we have to blow them out before we can drink them. Usually, I just like to, I don't know, drink my drinks? Hey. If you don't want yours, I'll take it. And miss out on the taste of victory? I don't think so. I take a sip of my pineapple of hospitality. Victory tastes fruity. Let's talk about lawn maintenance. I'm very particular. No electric mowers for me. I hand cut everything with scissors. I also only water the lawn with bottled sparkling water. I just ran out, so you're going to have to import some. Italian is preferred, but I'll settle for Icelandic if that's all you have. It's sweet that you're willing to put all of that work into taking care of your dead grass. <laughs> burn! Dad burn. Oh, I like Brian. What? My grass is perfectly healthy. How dare you? It's okay, buddy. I know just the trick to perk it back up. I'll work my magic when I finish trimming your grass with my tiniest pair of scissors I own. <laughs> Man, even when he's trying to be helpful, I feel personally attacked. While I sip more of my drink, I notice a TV in the corner. Hey, Extreme Makeover Deck Edition is on. I love this show. Always made me want to own a deck. Ugh, I hate this show. Why? It's so clearly fake. Well, yeah, it's reality TV. Who cares? I care. I'm a general contractor. I work with decks all the time. There's no way they're renovating those decks in a matter of two days. It's impossible. That's a three-week job minimum. So you want them to cover those three weeks extensively in every episode? It can't be that interesting to watch a bunch of dudes slave over a deck for that long. Nobody would watch it. I don't like any of those home improvement shows. I want to watch stuff that's real. Like Long Haul Paranormal Ice Road Ghost Truckers? Oh. I have terrible news for you, Wolf. No. No. Not them too! That's the awful hey. truth. Not the ghosts, though. Those are real. Trucks don't have emergency, emergency escape buttons. I've been lied to for so long. We both chuckle and sip on our pineapples. So wait, you're a general contractor? Hey. Sure am. I actually helped plan the cul-de-sac we live in. Wow, nice work. Yeah, yeah kind of took after the footsteps of my old man. He was a general contractor too. The best. He practically built half of this town with his bare hands. It's weird how you spend your whole life trying not to become your father. Then you wake up one day and there you are. Ain't that the truth. Hey. But I get to work with my hands, and it pays more than enough to take care of my daughter, so it's an absolute dream job, for me at least. Hmm. Well, that's impressive. Building stuff has always been my weak point as a dad, and I've been okay with that until now. Now I must defeat him. <laughs> I do have that patio furniture that I haven't put together, still sitting in the garage. <laughs> okay, okay, maybe I should cool it with the dad competition. Gotta keep it light. Oh, it's time for a dad joke. <laughs> so... A three-legged dog walks into a bar. Uh-huh. And he goes up to the bartender and says, I'm looking for the man who shot my leg. Oh. Ah. Is that how it goes? Nope. But I refuse to admit it. 
Uh, yes, it's one of those anti jokes. It's very avant garde. Is that how you say that? You know? Oh, so it was supposed to not be funny. We're so smooth. Sure. I take a long sip of my drink. God, this just reminds me of actual dates in real life where I'm just just a mess. Uh, see, we can keep things friendly here. This is perfectly pleasant. I could do this all night because I feel an innate need to impress Brian and prove I'm better than him, obviously. That's the only reason, I think. Let's keep, let's keep it moving. Oh, you know I love a man with a good beard. Let's pay him a compliment to that fine <laughs> facial accessory. Your beard is nice. It looks very healthy. <laughs> Thanks. I grow it myself. Oh my god, I say that every day. I say that every day. I grow it myself. God, how do I not have a kid? Hey, you're not allowed to do... You're not allowed to dad joke another oh. dad. Is this how our daughters feel all the time? I'm upset. Hey. Hi, upset. I'm dad. <laughs> Got me. I mean, you're walking right into that one. That's dad joke 101. Listen, buddy, I took dad joke 101 years ago. I'm in the 400 level classes, and we well on my way to a degree in fart oh. humor. Wow, Amanda must be so proud. She is not. I look around the room and take in all the kitschy decor, looking for something else to comment on. There's a gigantic fish hanging over Brian, and I... I gesture to it. Cool fish. It's definitely fake. What? Really? Hey. Everything here is fake. That palm tree over there is just a ficus with plastic coconuts glued to it. I look over. He's right. Yeah. But I almost caught something like that fish once. Mine was bigger, though. Of course it was. Oh, really? Yep, I went on a trip to Hawaii maybe a decade ago. We were out on the sea for three days catching fish, drinking beer, you know, guy stuff. We had a hot plate on the boat so we could steer the fish right after we caught it. Throw a little bit of salt and lemon on it there, and oh man, that's some of the best food I've ever had. That sounds amazing. That actually sounds amazing. Well, it was the last day. Everyone had gone to bed already, but I was out there watching the stars. Had my line out there, too. Then all of a sudden, I just it just starts running. Hey. So I jump on the reel before it gets ripped out of the rod rack, and I start fighting with the damn thing. I'm out there for maybe an hour, can't call out to my shipmates, it's just man against nature. Finally, I'm starting to tucker the guy out. I get him up to the surface and finally get a sight of it. The biggest marlin I've ever seen. Hemingway-esque. I get it onto the boat single-handedly, ah. and you know what happened next? What happened next? Uh -oh. The damn thing smacks me in the face with its tail, knocks me out. I wake up the next morning on the deck, the fish gone, never felt dumber. So it got away? I think there's another version of me that would have spent the rest of my life trying to catch that fish Captain Ahab style. I'm sure Daisy would be supportive. Aw uh -huh. oh, man, fishing's the life. Haven't gone enough lately. You go fishing? Actually, I have a confession to make. Wait, what am I doing? Why am I having this inexplicable urge to be vulnerable with him? I can't tell him that I'm terrible at fishing. I lean in close. I'm amazing at fishing. I'm the best at fishing. No one can outfish me. I don't know how to fish. Uh, I'm amazing at fishing? I'm simply the best out yeah. there. Okay, since you're such a pro, I'm taking you fishing. Do you want to go fishing? <laughs> Wait, don't answer that. Yes, you do. We're going fishing. Oh, no. Oh, uh... I don't know. <laughs> Come on. It'll be a blast. I know the perfect little fishing spot. I'll bring some beers. We can just sit back, relax, and reel in some trout. We'll bring the kids with us. Come on. You know you want to. I sigh. I've been cornered. Yeah, yeah, okay. Brian gives me an exuberant hey. high five. Yes, maybe we'll see who can catch the most fish so I can get you mowing my lawn. You can try to beat me, but they don't call me Wolf Good at Catching Fish Gore for nothing. Quite the title. I am spinning a web of lies that I fear will one day consume hey. me. Sounds like it'll be a scrap. Brian and I finish our drinks and head outside. Till next time. I'm real excited. <laughs> to catch way more fish than you, Brian. 
Brian extends his hand and gives me a friendly but firm handshake. I see that competitive fire in his eyes. This is going to become a whole thing, ah. isn't it? And that's our date with Brian. So, um... I think that's what we're going to call this episode for today, guys. But tell me what you thought of Brian. Tell me if you like him. Should we go out with him again? Should we go out with Matt again? Should we go out with uh, Craig again? Uh, I'm really curious to get your guys' opinions because I'm pretty stumped. I like all these guys. They're hella fun. This game is hella fun. I'm having a great time. And uh, if you guys could like the video before you go, if you enjoyed it, I'd really appreciate that. It does help my channel grow. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. I would love to have you. Either way, I will see you guys next time for more Dream Daddy. Bye.